Crime, some bad news to some amazing news. Now, Jen, you've got a fantastic story yeah, for something us. something really special. Um, Carmel Turner is a walking miracle after controversial stem cell treatment. The 37-year-old mum believes she has been effectively cured of MS. And here is a wonderful story. Two years ago, just months after the birth of her daughter Grace, first-time mum Carmel Turner was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I said to Scott, um, you better, you better just move on and get on with your life. Um, remarry. There is no cure. So that's when I realised that, you know, it was ultimately the fight for my life. Carmel first tried conventional treatment for MS, but it didn't work and the disease continued to progress. I basically couldn't walk anymore. My strength in my muscles, in my legs and in my spinal cord were weakening pretty severely. It was fairly obvious uh, watching the progression that she had over a short period of time that we were dealing with extremely active disease. And if something wasn't done, she would have eventually be heading to a nursing home. Desperate, Carmel contacted neurologist Colin Andrews, one of only two doctors in Australia performing a controversial new treatment for MS, using stem cell therapy to effectively reboot the immune system and stop the disease. It's an aggressive treatment uh, with a 1% mortality rate, but you've got to look at the risk benefit of what you're doing, and I think this stacks up pretty well. Despite the treatment being widely available overseas, MS Australia warns it is still considered experimental. We wouldn't support people seeking treatment outside of clinical trials at this point in time because it's really not a proven therapy. It was a risk Carmel was willing to take. And in November, she was admitted to Canberra Hospital for the procedure. They only choose Very lucky. Six million of Carmel's stem cells were harvested from her bone marrow and stored in liquid nitrogen. They were then transplanted back into Carmel after she received a heavy dose of chemotherapy. You're doing so well. But for Carmel, it was all worth it. Within days of receiving the transplant, her pain vanished, and she was able to walk again after two years of being confined to a wheelchair and using a walking frame. Carmel turn walks. Down of her brain. Three months on, Carmel is back in Canberra for her first MRI scan since the transplant to see if the disease has progressed. I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, I've, I've taken out a representative views of your, yeah. what we call your flare sagittal, yeah. and there's no new lesions. It looks the same as before. Yeah. I'll just show you up here, Carmel. And the good news is there's no hint of any new or active lesions. So we hope that we've stopped any progression of disease at this point. Doctors caution stem cell therapy can't yet be hailed as a cure for MS. But Carmel believes she is living proof that it does have the potential to stop the disease in its tracks. And for her family, that is nothing short of a miracle. I never imagined, and my husband never imagined, and my daughter never imagined I would come back home. I've got my life back, and I've got a second chance. And the story is so amazing. You have to understand how much hope it actually gives MS sufferers out there. My sister was diagnosed with MS January 09. Thankfully, it hasn't progressed at this stage, and we hope it doesn't. But, you know, for all of the MS sufferers, knowing that this treatment could eventually be part of mainstream medicine is just huge. And it's, the research it, can work. Yeah. And it affects people a lot long, younger than people think. Thankfully, also, Carmel has kindly offered to give advice to anyone who wants to know more about it. You can get in touch with her via our website, 7pmproject.com.au. We've got to take a break right now. Back with more in a moment.